Hello everybody, this is Dave Travels in Time, and today I'm going to be doing a Lost, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy review. So basically, I already did a Power Rangers in Space review, so this time I'm doing Lost Galaxy, which is the season right after In Space. So In Space was originally supposed to be the very last Power Rangers series, but due to the good ratings, Lost Galaxy was made. And it starts with the planet on Miranoi. About the Quasar Sabers. And it's basically almost like Sword in the Stone. Where somebody. Whoever can pull the sword from the stone. Is destined to be a hero. And the prophecy would happen. Then these villains come out with including Furio, who kind of looks like this creepy, like, clown creature. Um, he's kind of like a mon He almost looks like a clown monster. Um, and he works for uh, Scorpius, who's the main, another main villain. And he wants the Quasar Saber for himself, but he can't lift the Quasar Saber from the, from the stone ground. And... I, I do like the characters in this series. It's pretty interesting. There are callbacks to In Space, obviously the Astro Megasip, which is in like a museum. It's set, this series is set like, a, I think two years after In Space. And then uh, Leo, the main Red Ranger, who become the main Red Ranger, he stows away on an airplane so so he can go to the Terra Venture because he wants to be on the Terra Venture. Space Station. And so he stows away, and then he becomes a soldier, basically, with the rest of the crew. They, they kind of look like, almost like Starship Troopers-type uniform, out, you know, trooper outfits. And so they're on this planet, then they get attacked. And then there's this portal. And uh, Leo goes through it. And then Kai sets out to find them, the other one of the other main characters who will become one of the main rangers. He takes a, he's, he wants to take the Astro Omega ship to search for them. And then Damon comes along. He's like the main maintenance guy. And uh, he gets the ship running and they go through the portal along with Alpha 6 who is from In Space and Turbo. And they set out to find Leo and Kendricks and the rest of them. And they're all on Miranoi, along with Mike, who is Leo's brother. Well, Mike falls through a cavern, unfortunately, and it appears he dies, but he comes back later. Um, more on that later. Um, and he lifted the sword from the stone along with the rest of them. And Leo feels, you know, partially bad because he's like, I don't deserve this Quasar Saber because he's the one who lifted it. But Mike gives him the Quasar Saber before he falls in the cavern. And um, well, at least Leo's depressed that he doesn't find that Mike's gone. But obviously, there'll be a twist to that later. And uh, Furia only lasts a couple episodes. Um, really, the main villain of this is Trakina, along with Scorpius, her father. And uh, we get to find out who the... And then there's a new character called the Magnet Defender. He almost looks like, you know, a bull almost type of character with, like, you know, his armor and stuff is pretty cool. And he lost his son, and he almost feels like more like an anti-hero. He's kind of... He's almost like the Quint Eastwood of uh, Power Ranger types. And um, he's determined to get the lights of Orion. That's his one wish, so he can get the power for himself. And he just doesn't care about anything anymore. But... Um, there's another power source that controls him, basically, to encourage him to still be good. And um, the Rangers get the lights of Orion, um, not him. The lights of Orion call to the Rangers, not him. And later on, we find out that actually Magna Defender, you know, sacrifices himself, and then we get Mike back. Because basically, he was... Magna Defender basically had Mike's spirit and uh, Mike didn't really die they just melded together um, but now Mike's back and Leo can't believe it it's just like an utter shock to him that he's back 
And so that was a cool twist. And I like Maya because she's kind of like very into the animals and nature. She's kind of almost the, the jungle type character, almost like Sheena or Tarzan or something. I like that about her. She was interesting. And um, the Megazord's cool. And the beast, uh, the beast of the, the, uh, Maya, the beast for the galaxy ones, they're cool. And overall, it's a good, um, good series. And, um, I do like, you know, Deviat comes along later. And tricks, you know, Scorpius saying that basically he was the one that, you know, stranded Trakina. But really, it was, uh, Deviat. So basically, you know, Scorpius wants revenge on the Rangers, even though it was Deviat that, you know, stranded Trakina. And uh, Scorpius dies. Um, the Rangers defeat him. Um, Trakina wants revenge. Obviously. Um, So she just becomes more bad and more bad as time goes along. Because she's just shooting with revenge now. Um, but yeah, I would say all the characters are good. Um, Kendra, I like that the Space Rangers came back. Um, in a few episodes. To, and then the Psycho Rangers come back from in space as well. Um, so that was a cool twist. Um, but uh, Kendrix appears to die, sacrificing herself um, to prevent this bomb. And then uh, the reason why her character, they took her character out is because the actor had leukemia. She had leukemia at the time. So they had to take her character out. So then Caron from In Space, who's the, bro the sister of Andros, the main Red Ranger, comes back. She takes over as the pink Rain galaxy ranger. And uh, I do like the story of, like, the the episode where Corone kind of confronts herself from her past. Because she turned this one guy into stone on this one planet. But he could tell that she had changed and she was no longer astronomer anymore. So he forgives her. So that was a cool episode. And I really like that episode. So overall, the series is good. It's got a lot of twists and turns. And then Mike becomes the Magna Defender. Magna Defender gives him the power. But the only disappointing thing is I wish the Magna Defender, I wish Mike had been the Magna Defender the whole season. Instead, it because in the last three he uses his powers. Which I thought was kind of disappointing. When he helps this planet, he helps the people escape from like the pirates. The base pirates. And um, yeah, so I wish, I wish uh, Mike had been the Magna Defender for longer than been it through the whole season. That's one quibble I would say about it. It's cool to have the, you know. It's just a, it's just a really well rounded season. And uh, Trakina just gets more and more bad. Um, basically, Deviat and her merge. Because he wanted the powers that Scorpius had. But they fight over it. And um, he pushes her in. And then they basically merge. So she becomes more evil. And do her eyes look totally possessed. And um, she's very creepy, too. You know, once that happens, really creepy. And then she becomes a full-on bug, basically, at the middle of it. Because she, you know... She basically... Uh, catacombed into becoming a full bug at that point. So she almost looks like a praying mantis or something. Um, kind of creepy. Um, so that him, her and Leo fight. And that's like towards the end of the series. Yeah, this big fight. 
to the death almost. And oh man, what a season. Um, it was, uh, the effects still kind of hold up, even though it was some of it's early CGI. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Some of it was models, obviously. But yeah, I would say the season had some good points, and, uh, you know, and I did like Mike saying, you know, that he deserved the, uh, the good Quasar Saber did call to Leo, and that he deserved the Red Ranger power. And, um, Yeah, and it's called the different personalities. Kaizy's very, like, he's very, like, you know, he's very by the book, you know. And Rio's kind of, you know, the more carefree, you know, kind of messes around type of character. And Damon, he's like the super smart maintenance type character. And then you have Maya, who's the more jungly, nature-y character. Because that's, you know, where she was from, Miranoi. And, um, and I just like this this season. It's just, um, I did like the episode, too, where it appeared like her friend was back, Maya's friend. But it turns out it was just a monster pretending to be her friend from Miranoi. Yeah, overall, it's a decent season. I'm going to give this an 8.9 out of 10. 8.9 out of 10. For Lost, uh, for Lost Galaxy, um, it's a pretty damn good season. And then next, I guess I'll be reviewing Lightspeed Rescue, huh? And then, oh, one little thing I forgot to mention. At the end of the series, Kendricks comes back. Because once they put the, the swords back, the Quasar Sabers back, so he comes back to life. So that was cool. Yeah, so we're all on 8.9 for this series. Next, I'll be reviewing Lightspeed Rescue. All right, guys. Take care. And I got my Power Rangers sweatshirt on with all the different Power Rangers from the series. All right, guys. Take care. Peace. Bye for now.